first one in a while because I sit down and then it gets awkward because I'm trying to make this intro that like I just don't know how to do. below give me like a punchline or something like because i get stuck right here at this very moment and that stops me from making other videos so it just feels hella generic but anyways welcome back to my channel you guys like i was saying guys yeah i really do need to come up with the intro because this is getting old but i'm coming to you guys with good news for me anyways for you guys too because you guys are definitely following me on my journey and i i love getting all of i love getting all of the messages on instagram like i love it it really makes me feel like i'm doing something like like a very small like peon and life but you know it really does make me feel like i'm doing something that being said i have stopped posting as many videos because I didn't want to be phony with you guys. Like I wasn't doing nothing. I mean, I was working. I was obviously I've been working, but I just felt like I didn't want to, how do I say this? Like I wasn't at my best. Like I wasn't doing the things that I thought that I would be doing as a respiratory therapist. Like I didn't feel like I was meeting my goal. And in turn, I got a little bit discouraged because, like, you guys come on here because you guys want, like, to see, like, the glitz, the glam, and see everything. And during that period of my life, these last few months, like, I have not felt like I have been hitting those, like, those, like, milestones that I thought I would be hitting. So, I sat back. I really reevaluated my career goals, my life goals, my family goals, my personal goals, and then I threw them all out of the window. Because when I set those goals, those goals were not me in the present. You get what I'm saying? They were not, they had nothing to do with me now. Those were goals that I set when I was a struggling student, which was to get a job, move, very small things you know what i mean it wasn't like get a job that offers great benefits great pay e extraordinary experience that wants you to grow with them none of that it was girl get a job that was it that's it and that's what i did i got a job i got two jobs but I quit one, which I'll link that video over there, talking about why I quit my first respiratory job, which I regret, which I'll make a video about that too. Um, but then I had this job <clears throat> that is that has the potential to be an amazing position, but I am just not there. Like this position is not working. If that makes sense. Um, I got hired right after school. I already worked for the company. The company is a very large company. It's linked with a whole bunch of other uh, hospitals. Um, and so I felt like I was doing the right thing by sticking with this hospital system and trying to grow with this hospital system. So after sitting back and realizing that I was not meeting my milestones, that I was not meeting my career goals, that I was not hitting my skill set goals that I thought that I would be at right now, going into my second year of respiratory, I decided that I needed to really sit back and I really needed to reevaluate what I wanted out of this career. What I wanted out of my job, what I wanted to be, how I wanted to grow, and I decided that I needed to make a change, <laughs> which was very nerve wracking. Because if you guys know me personally, yeah, I am so like, like I'm back and forth. Like it's very hard for me to make like life choices, like, like 
like off the fly. Like I weigh out everything. It's a gift and a curse. I literally, I weigh out everything. But I decided to step out on faith and I started applying for other jobs. Because I know that there are so many jobs out here that are willing to, you know, give me everything that I want and more. I started putting my, my resume out and I started getting calls back. And I was like, girl, they calling you back? Well, let me see what y'all talking about. <laughs> because, you know, the job that I'm at right now, I'm literally so close to work. The benefits are great. It has the potential to be an amazing position, but it's just not there yet. So, you know, I was getting these calls back, but I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. I don't know. What's far? Am I experienced enough for this? Will I be good at this? Like all these doubts, right? So yeah. First of all, it took me a while. Like I revamped my resume and I talked to Chris, my husband, about, you know, branching out. And he's like, go for it, girl. Go for it. Do it. I, I don't know what took you so long because I would be this and this and this and this and this. And I was just like, okay, okay. okay. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But then I really got to a point at work where I was like, you know what? I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm fucking tired of this shit. I need more. Because I'm literally thirsty. I was literally going around and doing the same thing at work. Like, going around and around and around. And every day was the same thing. You know what I mean? It was different, clearly, but it was the same thing. And then I sat back and I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to work in the NICU. I've always wanted to work with kids. I never wanted to just strictly be with adults. I wanted to get a wide variety um, of things and I wanted to get that early on so that way when I look back at my career in five years I'm not looking back at a whole bunch of bullshit which is what I felt like my career was going right now I felt like I was heading to a career of bullshit of being trapped by good money you know what I mean I it was good money so I was like whatever I'm making great money you know but then I sat back and I realized like if I ever wanted to leave this company that I was gonna need a lot more than just saying, hey, I made a lot of good money. They do not care about that. And there I go again, just going all off on a rampage, talking about whatever I'm talking about. The C, the C, C, C. I'm gonna jump right in there, you guys. So I accepted a new travel assignment I know, I know. I know that I said that I wasn't gonna do any travel assignments months ago when COVID first hit. I tried to make a sit down video, you guys, but I'm just, I am not feeling it, okay? Like, I'm not feeling the sit down video. Like, <clears throat> ignore the fact that my cabinet is open, but I'm just not feeling the sit down videos. Okay, it feels forced as fuck. That's what it feels like. It feels forced as fuck. I don't want to feel forced as fuck to make videos. The kids are gone this weekend. I tried to overline my lip. Kind of looks crazy though. Let me see. I just have to try again another time.